everybody this is jelly from lisa Ravel stickers and in this video i'm going to be setting up my february dashboard and um <clears throat> yeah hear me out i like to use both pages and um i was setting up my cleaning routines here but i think i kind of got that down and then i was doing house projects over here so i'm going to do house projects and then social media because I feel that that's where I'm lacking a little bit right now. <clears throat> and um, I'm going to be using, um, this is a boo-boo kit. So my kits aren't smudged this way. They're like this. <laughs> but you know me. I like to um, use boo-boos as much as I can. Because I hate wasting stickers or paper. So anyway. Um, the A part with the lines. I like, And this is uh, A5 Daily Duo. But I also have these available they're a little bit different, but they're available in 7 by 9 as well uh, format. This works for any A5 planner. Erin Condren. They're designed for the Erin Condren A5 dashboard. And all the A5 dashboards are the same. Okay, so that out of the way. Um, I like to use this one with the lines for house projects because it's basically like a list of house uh, projects that we either need to get done or want to get done. And then here... Uh, I'm going to be using this one for my um, social media planning. And I've done this before. I can't quite remember how I did it, but I'm going to start with the social media section because then that'll help me uh, guide. That'll guide me to set up this other part here. I'm going to start um, setting up this guy and um, just in order to set it up properly I like to go and do it this way we have a very windy day here um, my uh, trash shed blew open and I was like what so I had to go out there and take care of that before my Reiki session today this could have done better <laughs> I did this terribly but I'm not gonna peel it off oh it peels off nicely though look the dashboard page is not actually that bad it peels kind of okay for what it is but it's okay I'm still not going to peel it off um, I don't mind this I guess next time I should do this a little bit better but I'm okay the way it is and then um, I'm going to be setting up these two guys and I could totally um, set this up here. Let me just show you. Set this up here, cover the February so that it's a cute washi. And for those of you that don't know, I like to make my kits flexible, which means that you get to put the month in and that way you could use it any month you want, which I think is great because um, that way you could use this for Valentine's, for wedding, for anniversary, whatever you want to do it, however you want to do it. And then um, these date strips over here, um, I mean, washi strips, not date strips. So these can be used up here. And then they can also be used up here. So over here, I kind of want to try and match it with the other one that I have okay kind of um, me on the same side of the other one and I'm going to be using um, these um, stars over here so that'll cover um, these dots that are not quite um, where you might want them to be and I'm just going to go ahead and white out the rest just so that I can um, I'm actually going to peel this off and white this one out too um, mm -mm -mm. let me try and peel this off a little bit as well so I can white this out properly oh I'm a mess today there we go that works so then I can use my little stars wherever I want to use them, set them down however I want to put them down, and um, 
I can use more than what the initial section is designed for. And make it go a little bit further if I need to, okay? Okay, so um, I wanna keep track of what I'm posting and then hopefully that'll help me do it better. So I wanna track um, which days I film, which days I edit, which days I upload. So this is all YouTube. However, I also wanna track um, which days my videos go out and then um, Instagram, Facebook page, Facebook group, Etsy shop announcements, and then other Facebook groups that I'm in, right? So I'm just going to choose three. And then I want to track which days I post where. So what I'm aiming for is that I at least have one check on each day, whether whichever of these activities it is. Hopefully I'll be able to make that happen. Now, the headers over here, these are um, going to be projects, which for my shop, it might be like events that I wanna plan. Um, let's say I wanna do a Valentine's Day sale, so I'll plan that. And even if it's further ahead, that's fine. Um, I guess that you can always, um, I mean, I can always transfer them over to the next month if it's something that's further ahead, but sometimes I need to start working on it soon. And one thing that um, you guys have been asking me to continue to do again are the, um, the advent calendars, okay? So I'm going to start doing some research. Um, for Advent. I want to research and try out other places. Uh, the place that did the gold foiling of the stickers and the washi, they were good. I liked them. Uh, but, you know, I want to try like two, three different places, which I guess it'll be one each year so that I can have something to compare and then decide which one I'm going to stick with. So that's, that's that. And um, then over here, I want to do important stuff. And my important, I always like to do projects and important in the smaller boxes because those shouldn't be um, too many, right? Because if I have too many importants, then something's wrong. I'm not being uh, as efficient as I think I'm going to be, or maybe I'm trying to chew on more. Maybe I'm trying to bite on more than I can chew. So um, my importance shouldn't be like a huge list of things. Then um, my to-dos are the ones that should go over here. And I'm gonna dress it up a little bit, make it look a little bit cuter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I have either this way, which looks cute, or this way. I like this one better. I'm gonna go with this one, right? I like it. And it makes it pop up a little bit, which is what I wanted to just make it pop up a little bit, okay. Now, um, what are the important things? These um, are things that I, I need to be mindful of and most likely my shop calendar. So um, for the, let me just look at a February um, calendar. So the first Friday of February, I'm not gonna be doing anything. Then for Friday the 10th, right? So this is Friday, February 10th. I have April kits coming out. 
So it's important for me to keep track of that. And then Friday, February 17th, and Friday, February 24th, I'm gonna have other things going on. So I'm gonna have functionals here. And then I'm going to have May reformats. What does this mean? Um, I'm gonna choose the most popular kits from May, at least one, and bring it into the new format of stickers that I'm working with. I think um, I think that's that's gonna be good for me and for the shop, hopefully. And I'll see how that goes. Um, whichever kits I don't bring, it doesn't mean that they're gonna be discontinued, but some of them will be at some point. I just have to figure that out, okay? Um, and I think this is a project. I need to plan this continue. certain kits. There are kits that I need to retire for sure. So I need to make an inventory, see what I have, put that out there at a discounted price. I, I don't know if this is going to happen in February because I'm still not caught up. As you can see, I'm doing this the second Friday of, of uh, February, not the first, but I don't want to lose track of it or lose sight of it. So even if I don't get to do it, I like having it here. And then, um, I think that's about it. I think um, those are the important things that I need to take care of. Now for my to-dos, I always have a lot of to-dos and there's a bunch of them that are gonna kind of uh, translate from one month to the other. So maybe at some point, instead of tracking my Instagram posts, I might just go ahead and track my shop process over here. Um, I'm gonna do it here for now, but. And then sometimes in projects, it could be certain YouTube videos or series. Oh yes. So this is something that's very important and I cannot forget about this. I think we said uh, my PR team, I'm, I'm coordinating to do something with my PR team and we're gonna do it the week of uh, February 20th. So we're gonna have a PR collab. I think that's an extra E, but that's fine. February 20th, okay? So I really need to be mindful of this because um, we're all gonna choose a kit from the 12 days of surprises. And even if we use it in the same planner, we're gonna try to use either a different format or if we're doing the same planner, we're gonna try to go a different way of using the kit. Uh, so that you guys can see um, and compare how different planning styles translate into um, into planning. I think that's going to be fun. And the same stickers, possibly you could see them used in a different way. Um, so yeah, you know, I have all this. What am I going to do with this? How am I going to work it out? And then you'll see that some people might do something and then um, someone will have a different idea for sure. And I, I like that. I like those kinds of videos too. And then I like these little individual check boxes because I can use them here, 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 wherever I want. And they fit perfectly with these lines. I'm gonna leave it up to here. I don't know if I'm gonna fill up the to-dos, but hear me out. So what have I not done yet that I know I need to do? Um, well, and actually I'm gonna do even the things that I did already in February because this I'm gonna copy into March. And these to-dos are basically what I need to do in, in terms of um, making my shop work, right? Uh, so once a month, I need to um, check my inventory. And sometimes this takes like all the four weeks so what I do is I check a certain section a day or a week. And that way, you know, I kind of keep it moving and rotating. I wish I could do it every 15 days, but I just don't have the manpower to do that. So it's going to have to be every week, but that's okay. Um, and then I, I always need to purchase art. 
and I have some of the May art, but I have not finished purchasing everything. So let me just uh, finish that up. And um, I need to um, create listings. So once we get to the month, um, I just, you know, it's kind of hard because each month I'm going to be doing the same tasks. And then um, those tax are, tasks are going to repeat next month. So I always have to create listings. And that implies creating the JPEGs and then the listing images and then the listing, right? But I also have to design new kits. So that is something that I always need to do. And then I have to... Um, print and I have to cut okay and I have to cut new kits so ideally in February I should be doing March but I'm going to be doing February and then I'm going to be doing part of March right so this is going to be for February um this is going to be for March um this is gonna, this should be february and march so it's going to be two times the same um task oh actually you know what let me just do something different here i'm sorry for the back and forth so this is just february because um even though i already designed i did not finish designing everything in january so this is all February, but then all these same tasks are going to go into March. But the March ones, I'm going to detail a little bit more because that's what I want to copy going forward into other um, formats. Having a little bit of trouble peeling some of these guys off. So let me just try and see if there's a way there that one came out uh -huh, and that one came out good and then this other one will go here and then I need one red okay this one worked and one pink and this one worked perfect nice so one red and one pink okay good now um, let's do these same tasks, but in more detail. So what I what do I need to do? I need to purchase my art, right? Finish purchasing it. Then I need to um, design um, May kits, right? I need to um, create. JPEGs. I also need to create listing images. I need to create the listings. And all this is May, right? And I also need to um, print May kits and then cut make kits right then i need to film make kits video and i need to create may banner and create may um May advertising, if you will. Okay, so this is basically my cycle. And then I do also have to check inventory. I do have to purchase the art. And there are other tasks that I need to do, but I might write them in here because there's not enough space for me to write it all over here. Okay. So this is it for the part of my dashboard that's going to go 
um, related to my business. I'm gonna stop the video here because I'm gonna make a separate video for the other part of the dashboard, which is going to cover um, my house projects, right? So this is kind of like my business uh, part of the dashboard, and then the other one is gonna be my house projects. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys, thank you for watching, take care.